All I'm saying is I've lost people number 13. Why are you so filled with hate? Did you ever get that one? Uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 13. I'll show you why. From the scriptures. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Oh, God never hated anybody. God's love is unconditional. Um, then what do you do with this passage? That verse of scripture, Esau have I hated. You said, what's Old Testament? Well, it's events in the Old Testament, but it's recorded in the New Testament for a Christian today in the Pauline epistles. What are you going to do with that? God hated a man. Doesn't say his sin. Doesn't say his lifestyle choice. God hated him. Romans chapter 12, verse 9. Let love be without the simulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Abhor that which is evil? Yeah. Why? Why, why could you, how could you abhor that which is evil? I don't understand why this hatred is there. Uh, because of the first part of the verse. Let love be without dissimulation. Dissimulation means basically hypocrisy. Um, coming up and saying, oh, yeah, oh, hello, and just being this nice little thing and whatever else that doesn't judge anybody. Uh, that's not real love. All right? Go to the doctor and you say, doctor, I don't know what the problem is. I just I have this weird pain here. And I just, oh, it just, I don't know what's going on. The doctor looks and, and the doctor does some tests and he thinks, uh-oh, they have some kind of cancer or, you know, whatever else. And he says, um, everything's fine. You're okay. Everything's wonderful. But I got, I'm not sick. No, I don't want to judge you with the saying you're sick. I could ruin your day if I told you that. So, you know, go on about your way. You're fine. Does the doctor love the person? No, he's got the simulation there. He's a hypocrite. He knows something is wrong, and yet he doesn't want to upset them. So he says, go on about your way. And then they go and then they die. Um, we're not supposed to have love for the lost with dissimulation. We're not supposed to have hypocritical love, in other words, for people and say, well, I'm just going to be friendly. I'm going to just, everybody's going to think I'm the nicest person out there and whatever else. You got to tell people. The Lord gives you the opportunity to tell them about their sin. You have to be willing to talk to people about their sin and let them know that they're in trouble with God and they better get saved. That's why we are supposed to abhor that which is evil. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Ask somebody that. Somebody just comes out and they say, why are you so filled with hate? Say, would you consider me an enemy if I told you the truth? I'm trying to tell you the truth. I'm trying to tell you how to be saved. I'm trying to tell you how to go to heaven when you die. Does that make me your enemy? Is it really hate? <laughs> I hate sin. I hate evil. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you about the love of God here. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 24 through 26. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive, captive by him at his will. Show somebody that from Scripture and say it. Do you realize the Bible says that you are taken captive by the snare of the devil right now? Uh, I don't have hatred for you. I have hatred for what you're involved in. Um, but if you get to a point where you're so evil and you're so wicked, God might end up hating you like he did with Esau. Um, I'm trying to keep you away from that, that judgment. I'm an ambassador for Jesus Christ and I'm trying to show you the truth of God's word. And if they go on hating, well, okay, fine. Walk away. You tried to warn them. Nothing more you can do for them. And if they get to a point where God hates them, well, then God's going to take care of that situation. 